You don't have grocery stores where you can buy meat, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is an elk spine. I'll stick to pizza. This is a video we've been wanting to do for a long time, but we had to wait until it was hunting season. You think this is like jerky here? <laughs> yes, eat it. But we finally got a spine and uh, we're gonna cut it in half. I wanna try something first though. What? What is this? Oh yeah, this is the chirp wheel, damn. Chirp wheel plus. What are you doing? I've been trying to figure out how this thing works. The Chirp Wheel Plus is a back pain relief device that targets the muscles around your spine, and it comes in three different sizes. You've got the 12 inch gentle wheel, the 10 inch medium wheel, or the six inch deep tissue wheel. My brother first recommended I get the, the Chirp Wheel, and I've had it for about six months now. So when Chirp reached out to us to do a collaboration, I was on board. Uh, I've been using the Chirp Wheel, uh, not every day because I haven't needed it every day, um, but especially when I went uh, to Hawaii, I knew that after the eight hour plane ride and all the traveling we were gonna be doing that I was gonna have a sore back. So I brought the Chirp Wheel in my suitcase, packed my clothes around it, uh, and I used it every day. It was a total lifesaver. The Chirp Wheel is very useful here in the shop where we have all this manual labor, especially when the forklift breaks and we make Mitchell carry everything around on his back. The Chirp Wheel Plus was the most funded pain relief device on Kickstarter ever. They have sold over 500,000 and are still going. Go see why everybody loves the Chirp Wheel and go click the link in our description. You can fix your back pain today. So our resident botanist told us that this is the back end. This is where the rear hips were connected. So you said rear hips like there are front hips. Well, no, th there's rear hips and then there are no front hips. Correct. This is where the front legs connect, but it's just like meat that connects the legs. Yes, tissue. Yeah, meat. <laughs> so yeah, there's just meat connecting the front legs. This is actually upside down. This is the top of the back. That's the bottom side. And that's the neck where the head connects and then the legs go that way. Hmm. Yes. Always check with your phlebotomist to see if you're doing everything right. So I'm thinking we definitely want to explore the neck a little bit. Cut down there and then cut down the spine. Yeah, but all in a respectful way. Yes. Because we're an educational YouTube channel. Yes, that's what this channel was founded on. I would also kind of like to separate one vertebrae on its own and see like connective tissue. Let's come down here, down here, and then let's chop it in half and then let's try and just cut one vertebrae then. When cutting an elk spine, make sure you're going slow enough or else all of that will spray your computer. It's disgusting. The oncologist said that the froth is probably fat. Ugh. Look at that one, that's a big fat bubble. Yeah. Hold on, before you guys see it, I'm going to hose it down for you. The Didn't amount of just through down there in that rib. With the amount of bone, we had to turn the abrasive on, so it's a little dirty. And so that is bone marrow, I would assume. It's like a hard, not white inside the bone. Those are the vertebrae cut in half and then right here is where it transitions up the neck. So inside here is this like spinal cord? There is, I think so. And then here you've it's got some kind of... Squishier than I would have thought. Is that a breathe hole? Or is uh, that a spinal cord hole? I don't think the breathe hole goes through your spine. <laughs> so. It does not. <laughs> so the, this is the Don't top. Leave it running. The ribs come off either side, and we kind of cut at a weird angle here. 
Yeah, so this is the top of the back right there. So elks are, uh, humpbacks. they're from the humpback family. Correct. Correct. <laughs> Spinal cord uh, channel thing. That's the bone marrow, and then that's the bone, and then on the side, that is the cartilage. That's like the, the disc that's in between the vertebrae. So, so when you got too much compression, you can see that it squishes up. When you get on the chirp wheel, it relieves it. And then you compress it, it is painful. Relief, pressure, pressure. I mean, I'm actually surprised you could see that. <laughs> that part was still bleeding. <laughs> I don't know if it's better than the last one. I mean, you can see the stuff. I don't think there's anything else really to show on this. Out of respect for the elk, I'm not gonna poke my finger through that little hole on camera. <laughs> or off camera. <laughs> that is a section of spinal cord. It's just like silly putty in there. How does that work? You know, it's just like ethernet, all the data goes through it. <laughs> silly putty ethernet? <laughs> yeah. And that is how elks work. So uh, I hope you guys are more learned. And uh, if you get anything from this video, it's that if you've got back pain, you can actually do some good for yourself and get a chirp wheel. This is kind of interesting, but kind of weird. Yeah.